uh, a really lovely guy. I've followed this fella on Twitter for, for a long time. Uh, right up my alley, this. What he does, he's a local photographer. And what he does, he specialises in merging old Liverpool pictures to the way they look. Now, say, for example, uh, what would be a good one? Uh, say the Primark building in, in Liverpool, which was the old Littlewoods building, wasn't it? Years and years ago. So he will blend those two or he'll take a park or an avenue, say, I don't know, Telegraph Road in Wirral. He'll, he'll take a picture of that and then he'll merge it into something else, the way it looks. Now, the way it looks then and the way it looks now, really, really good. His name's Keith. He's going to be coming in a bit later on, bringing some of the pictures in. Now, I know it's the radio and you're saying, hang on a minute, pictures on the radio. But you can follow him on social media as well. And I will do my best to use my... My descriptive powers, which aren't great, uh, to describe them to you when we're talking about them as well. Now, the city of Liverpool has changed so much over the years. And if you're anything like me, you probably find it really fascinating to look back at old photos and then compare them to the way they look today. Now, my next guest specialises in doing just that. He's a local photographer. His name is Keith Jones. I just know him as um, Liverpool then and now. Because that's it, isn't it? I, I, I just that's know that's you as that. Yes, because right. if you do follow people on social media yeah. and you've never met them, you just picture in your mind their, their, their pictures yeah. and yeah. not as a person. Yeah, yeah. But let me just mention that the, these pictures that you've taken are, are absolutely fantastic. Oh, thank you very much. Tom. And what Keith does, he, he, he kind of blends the old and the new. If you haven't seen his Facebook or Twitter account, it's definitely well worth a look. So when did it start for you, this? It's about 10 years ago now, Tony. I uh, I picked up a few uh, old postcards just from like a sort of market stall and one of the old Quiggins things. Yeah. And I just thought it'd be interesting. People have done comparisons for years, but I thought I'd have a go. And, uh, and then someone sent me a load of more photos and I thought I'd crack on a bit more. I thought it maybe last a few months just for my own interest mm. and here i am nearly 10 years ago t nearly 10 years on and i'm still doing it so it sort of snowballed a bit and it gets a great reaction as well doesn't it oh it, it, it's been really uh overwhelming that people have been so keen and so nice there's a great passion for for history in this city i think uh, especially local history uh, and the, there's so much of it it's a vibrant city it's always been evolving um it's widely photographed the last 150 years people have been taking a lot of pictures um and there, there seems to be a lot of it a lot of local, local interest in that sort of stuff do you know it's it's funny because in in years to come many years to come whether the radio is still around but I, I mean people will still have an interest in history of course but there may be two fellas sitting here saying well, <laughs> these are the these are the pictures of a shopping center that, yeah. that used to be called liverpool one yeah exactly and now it's a field or yeah, sort of something that's like it, that yeah and that's the whole point isn't it i find that fascinating so it, to me i know it's I enjoy looking at the comparisons and sharing the comparisons now, but I hope that in some form in the future, you know, 50 years from now, someone might find one of the, one of the photos from now and it's tomorrow's history, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's, oh, that's how things looked in 2022. What, what were those little pink scooters that were going past, you know, and, you know, all that sort of stuff and the things that we take for granted as just, just modern, just what you see every day now. In the future, it'll be like when we look back on uh, people lighting gas lamps in the streets and, sure. and you know, cow keepers and windmills a hundred and odd years ago sort of thing. So yeah, it's amazing, isn't I'm, it? I'm conscious of that sort of thing. I hope it's something that look, people look back on anyway. Well, this is my 25th year oh, at, wow. at BBC Radio wow. Merseyside. Yeah. And I started in Paradise Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Paradise Street is... Yeah, that's Liverpool, Liverpool 1 now, now, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah. when you look, I mean, I can picture it in my mind now. Yeah. Paradise Street, you had the little butty bar, yeah. just a few shops, uh, a few doors up. Yeah. And then facing it, you had the Moat House Hotel. That's right, yeah. That, yeah. you know, that was that was there. And, and I always tend to refer to um, places in the city that don't exist. If somebody yeah. asked me for directions, for example... Yeah. I would say, well, you need you, if you go up there, <laughs> yeah. past the bubble bus stops. That's right, yeah. It's a, yeah bubble bus stops yeah. haven't been there for 30 That's years. It, yeah. and you know. it, I'll, I'll do the same thing, Tony. I, you know, someone will ask me where somewhere is, and I'll say, uh, well, you know where so and so used to be? And yeah. they might be a tourist, and they, they haven't got a clue. You know, I'll be <laughs> yeah, exactly. fair enough, you know. Well, Keith, you, you brought in some of, some of your pictures. It's really kind of you. The, fir no the first one that you showed me yeah. uh, is very dear to me. Yeah. It's, it's Skerry's Road in Anfield. Yeah. In. What's that? Like, yeah, I think it's about 1900s, I think, that one. 1900, on the, on the with a cobbled street. Or thereabouts, yeah. And then it's Skerry's Road, which is pretty much up to date, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my mum's house is on it there. <laughs> I was glad to see that, yeah. On both it. pictures. Yeah. Now, she didn't live there in 1900. No, no, I'm sure. But What's she's it? in she's in number three there. Yeah, it is, yeah. And it's right at the bottom of the street. And I oh. thought, 
the history, the well, family, the things that have gone on in people's lives, not just in that road, yeah. but in any road. All over the city, yeah. All the, over the place. Those terraces, they were built to last. I think my father in law lives in one that was uh, you know, about over 100 years ago, 120 or more years ago. Yeah. Solid houses, you know, life would have been very different then. But I really like those streets. Yeah, the, the history they must have is uh, amazing. And and the blending that you do as well. Yeah. I've just turned a page. Young yeah. footballer near Goodison Park, oh, o- yeah. Oxton yeah. Road in 1960s. Uh, yeah, late 60s, I think that was. Late looking 60s. up towards Goodison Park there. And then you've yeah. taken a picture of the same road and then you've blend, you've blended the two to, together. You've had the young kid from the 60s yeah. in the street yeah. uh, and you've brought it up to date. Well, with him in the street the way you blend those pictures well, i like to do that it doesn't doesn't work with all of them but what i like to do is have uh, the people from maybe 100 years ago interact or have them appear to interact with the people that are you know now so there's one that i did where there's a it's 1909 i think in George, uh, derby square and there's a newspaper seller you know reading the newspaper as he's selling selling his wares and there's a lady walking past maybe read the news on her phone sort of thing and it's like over 100 years different that's how we got the news then this is how we got the news now it just mm. i like to have them sort of try and interact a bit and as if they're sort of ghosts walking in everyday life it know? started off as a as a hobby didn't it, it still is yeah how, yeah how how much time do you dedicate to it now it's become a real it's it's it takes up a fair amount of time but i mean i work full time uh in shipping so it, this is very much just a hobby so uh what i'll tend to do is i go out of a lunch hour I'm so lucky in town. There's so many buildings, so much, so much great history and newsworthy events in the past that have been recorded. And then in the evenings or whenever I get time, I'll go home and process them and share them on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. So it's it takes up a fair bit of time. I've done, I think, I think I've done nearly ten thousand photos over over the last ten years. So I think 10, so. It's 000. something that I really enjoy. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. You know, yeah. it's uh, it's. I never intended to keep doing it for this long, but it's. I enjoy the challenge of trying to get them right and try and find out where old places were and uh, try and recreate them as closely as I can. So that and it doesn't matter how, how old or how young you are. I mean, a, yeah. a really good example is uh, the musical box, which oh. is on West Derby Road. I love doing that on that one, yeah. yeah. And you've got a picture yeah. of Di- uh, Diane, Diane Kane, yeah. Diane Diana Kane, Kane yeah, yeah. Uh, when she was a young mum yeah. with her little blonde son. Yeah, yeah. He was in he was in the shop at the time as well. He still, the... he still works in the shop. Right, yeah. yeah. He's, still, he's still there. Yeah. She was a lovely lady. I went in just with a few photos and I, I showed them what I was doing and what a lovely lady. Mm. And she even uh, stepped outside. I had a photo from the 1950s when the shop hadn't been open very, very long. Yeah. Uh, it's on the next page, I think. And uh, uh, she even p- uh, posed outside in the same... Po- she was a teenager in about 1956, 58 in the first one. Yeah. And outside the same shop, about 60 years later, the same lady. I thought that's a once in a lifetime chance. The, the same person. And she was she was such fun. She was a great lady. She's got the same smile mm. in the 60s photo as now, you know, so recognizable sort of thing. And you can flick and, through it. I mean, the, the one I've stopped on here somewhere oh, yeah. where I used to hang around as a as a kid. Oh, probe. Probe records. Yeah, of course. Yeah. B- Button Street, probe yeah. records. Uh, yeah. I mean, th- these build. I mean, a lot of these buildings, they're, they're never going away. Some of no. them are grade, grade two. And no. the St. George's all, of course, grade one. Yeah. But. Yeah. They've changed over over the years, yeah. But the memories kind of remain, yeah. don't they? It's I think there's different kinds of nostalgia. I mean, people can look back at. Well, I enjoy looking back at over 100 years ago how life was very different. You got kids on the street with no no shoes and things yeah. like that, and also. But also, there's the nostalgia for your own earlier life. So people that remember going to Probe, uh, people that go into pubs, Eric's, Matthew Street, the Cavern, even for older the older generation. Um, I think it's that's in the nostalgia for an earlier time in your life, things that you remember. Uh, but I equally enjoy looking at stuff that I remember from the 70s and 80s as, you know, stuff from before my time, you know, trams sure. and the overhead railway that I've never seen. I like to see how people lived differently then. But yeah. when you when you blend the old pictures yeah. to the new, it kind of brings it to, to life for people who, I mean, I wasn't around at the time of the overhead railway. No, no, no. Um, but when you blend the two pictures together, you go, ah, so that's what it must have been like. I, that's what I try to do, totally. Yeah. It's just to sort of place it in the same spot and just sort of uh just emerging of worlds really sort of mm. thing you know and uh uh just to try and sort of demonstrate or sort of document where things were and where they would have run and uh mm. you know the people that were around at the time hopefully depending on what's in the shot there's yeah. a famous old old picture isn't there of the stable fountain with all, yes. all the victorian kids with no yes. shoes yeah, on yeah, there yeah. they're kind of yeah. sitting on there that one's in there yeah yeah I, I, yeah I, uh, I, uh, yeah, I had a uh, yeah, I've done a few there. That's a very historic one. Mm. Yeah, and there was uh, there was a famous lad in, in, sat amongst them. He went on to great fame in in uh, in the United States, I believe, a jazz musician. That's uh, right. He's it the black lad on the end. Right. Wasn't yeah, he? yeah, that's he did right. very yeah. well for himself indeed. Yeah, exactly. You know, so I like that you can see photos like that, and then you learn about the, a bit of the history behind mm. it, and then you 
it sort of branches off into, you know, what happened to that boy or what happened to that building, that business, that, you know, that church, that, all the cinemas, you know, sort of how things have changed. I think there was a hundred cinemas in the mm. 1940s in the city. And then a lot of them went on to be bingo halls and then they became something else or, you know, with pubs, maybe some of them. And uh, so I find it nice to see, oh, that wasn't always a pub. That used to be X, Y, Z. You know, it's really interesting exactly. to me anyway. Yeah. The, the technology, yeah. certainly in, in, in the <laughs> 10 year, 10 years you've done this? Yeah, yeah 10 years. In technology in in just 10 years oh, yeah. must have played a uh, obviously it's helped oh yeah for me yeah absolutely yeah i mean it's sometimes it's difficult to get exactly the same shot um if it was if the first one was taken on a very different camera like a victorian camera has different focal lengths and stuff like that but the good side is you know it's, it's all digital so uh you know i can take as many shots as i want and then sort of use a bit of photoshop i have to be in the right spot anyway but uh, i can adjust it to try and get as yeah. close as i can that's I, all. I was going to ask you about that because yeah. if Say a picture yeah. of um, I don't know what one of the big sandstone pavilions in St in Stanley Park. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've take that's been taken in I don't know eighteen whatever. Yes, yeah. But where the picture's been taken, something else is there now. There's a tree. Oh yeah, yeah. Or, or a bush, <laughs> oh, yeah. And, yeah. and you can't get that's, the, ex the yeah. exact angle. Yeah. That, it, that 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 must ooh, that must must really frustrate it does a bit. That happens it. a lot. There's a lot of uh, also just traffic. You know, there'll be so many cars parked that might be in the way. Um, there may be a photo from an old it, a road may be in like a country lane at the time, just a horse and cars in the distance. And now it might be a dual carriageway. You know, so I, if I want to get to the same spot, I've got to be. It's like stepping onto Brown's Hatch, you know, and uh, on the other side, if I stand next to the road with my camera, people often think, you can tell people think, he's a traffic policeman because I'm standing there with my camera. <laughs> so all yeah. of a sudden, everyone's doing 30. I think I should get, I should get a T-shirt saying, not a policeman, yeah, you but, should but, do, but yeah. take it yeah. steady, you know? Yeah, it's brilliant. So, yeah. so, so do, do people get in touch on, on social media and say, you must come and do this, you must come and do that? And sometimes, yeah, people have been really kind. I mean, sometimes people will send me, look, here's this photo that of my great-grandfather took outside our house in 1900. I love that, you know? It, and I'll go, they'll often say it's at this road is this this house and I go along and try and redo it or even blend it in you know yeah that is fabulous I love it when people send me uh, all photos uh, to try and redo you um you you had a photo I don't know who who, who sent it to you but you, yeah. you you had a photo of an old neighbor who used to live in my street when I was a little lad in oh. in Kemlin Road oh yeah 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 I lived yeah. in Kemlin Road before Liverpool kind yeah, of acquired right. the land and yeah. the houses yeah. down. Yeah. So we didn't move far. We only moved to Skeddies, <laughs> around the corner, yeah, which yeah. is like, was the next yeah, street? Yards, yeah, the, not even that, yeah. the next one. Yeah, yeah. And when I saw that picture, I went, I remember that that's, gentleman. Uh, that's great. Because yeah. I was a little, like, he was an elderly yeah, gentleman. That's right. Yeah, that's Yeah, yeah, sort of boring yeah. and a nice smart waistcoat. And that. Yeah, 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 it was at the time when, I mean, this all sounds a bit kind of, you know, <laughs> rose tinted spectacles no, no, no. and the world wasn't the world great then. Yeah. But it was at a time when you referred to the... Neighbours yeah. in the streets as Mr. So and So, yeah, or for Mrs. Me. So and So, yes. you know that, yeah, or, I know or that well, the, yeah, the yeah. Hardcastle family, That's or, right, or whatever. Yeah. I was the same growing up. You yeah. kind of you, you knew people in the street. Yeah, then, yeah, you know? it's uh, it's it, yeah, and I'm glad that you you knew that chap because uh, occasionally I put a photo up and someone will, someone will send me a message laughing and say like, yeah. that photo from the late sixties. That's me mum, <laughs> and you know, and, uh, and and he said I showed us me mum and she was a bit she was a bit chocolate that it was a it, it's a history photo. You know, <laughs> it, was, it was only 40, 50 years ago when she was yeah, a teenager exactly. out exactly. for lunch walking in old hall streets i think it was but i love that if people spot someone that they know or i've had friends spot their old car you know and things like that and uh, it's great right. when people know a little about the person that's in the photo you well, know the, the fella in the photo yeah, yeah. i can probably say it now he yeah. was uh, he was one of these shift that ball <laughs> shift the ball go and play with the ball up your own end if, if, it, put, if it comes in my garden i put a fork <laughs> through it yeah, yeah. Long garden. i'll put a hot knife through it. It, yeah. be one of those yeah, yeah we knew them, yeah. And, well give us the name of the of of, of the website uh, it's on okay. facebook i mean twitter i mean i follow you on twitter yeah. anyway um I'm, on twitter it's keith jones 84 or you could probably find me through liverpool then and now probably better is facebook um which is liverpool then and now uh, only because all the photos on there and they're in albums by area so it's everywhere from sort of uh speak up to formby and sort of from the river and even the wirral to kirby you know occasionally in other towns as well um and you but, said it was a hobby it sounds like a full-time oh, job oh, to way. yeah totally hobby just do it when i when i have spare time you yeah. know sort of a uh, young family and all that so uh it keeps me busy also um is there any chat i mean i, I, I yeah. don't know but yeah. i mean the the council have a fantastic archive you know the, the city yeah. engineers have a wonderful archive yeah, sometimes brilliant. you see them online 
right? Absolutely. But you've yeah. got to be careful with the copyright you stuff have, as yeah. well. I mean, you? you know, this is all for, this is all non-commercial. It's just for really not. I'm not. I'm not an educator, but if it educates people about how history was, it's just for review and you know, it's it's, it's not a commercial thing. So I've never run any, any problems with copyright. Uh, it's not like I'm selling it. Um, but I used to go to the uh, records office and get photos from there, yeah. and it's a fabulous archive. It's great, and I'm lucky there's so many great photos of the city knocking around. You know. Uh, you're going to yeah. carry on doing it? As long as I can, uh, Tony, yeah, um, until I've run out. I thought I was going to run out uh, once, uh, and that was sort of nine and a half years ago. Mm. So, so somehow they keep saying, oh, we're lucky that people have been photographing the city for so long, and there's so many noteworthy events, and the city's the star. The, the history is amazing, roller coaster at times, but I'm glad people have documented it because it yeah. allows me to try and keep the, the spirit going. And uh, yeah. the, it was the museum who got in touch oh, with museum, the, the museum of, of yeah. used you for the Blitz stuff. That as well, would be brilliant. Yeah, Museum of Liverpool. We put together a walking trail of uh, from the Liverpool City Police Archive. They photographed places that had been hit in the Blitz in 1941. And they asked me very kindly to go along and uh, re reproduce them. So we've made a paper walking trail, which you can collect from the Museum of Liverpool or from St. Nicholas's Church. It takes you around the city, showing you how things were in 1941 and how they are now. Uh, yeah, Really lovely to meet you at last. And My so pleasure, I've, fo I've followed you for ages, Thank you for but I, me, yeah. I never knew what you looked like or yeah. whatever. But <laughs> And this is the this is the, the good side of social media, this, right. isn't it? You know, it really is. Oh, well, I enjoy it, but yeah, uh, people have been very kind. And, Excellent. Uh, yeah, thank you okay, very much. Well, let me give you pictures back there and just uh, give your site a, a quick plug again. Yeah, it's Liverpool Then and Now on Facebook and Twitter and uh, you're more than welcome to come and have a look. Right. <laughs> Lovely to meet you, mate. Take care. I could talk to Keith uh, all day uh, about what he does uh, with those, those pictures. Thanks for your nice comments as well, uh, by the way. Liverpool Then and Now, is uh, it's on Facebook and it's on, uh, it's on Twitter as well. And, and a good point, Laura. Uh, Snelly, wouldn't it be great if... Um, if Keith could put his pictures in a book, as not everybody is on social media. No, not everybody is on social media, you're right, but I think it would be quite difficult with, as Keith mentioned, uh, with the copyright aspect of it as well. It depends who owns the pictures and, you know, if you can tweet them, you get permission to tweet them, but if then you're going to start to turn it into a commercial venture and start making money out of it or whatever, then it starts to get a little bit... I mean, it's doable, but, you know, it's a hobby. You don't want to turn a full-time job for the lad even though it does sound like a full-time job for him. But, but yeah, it could get a little bit uh, a little bit messy. But it's a good point, and thank you for making it. And you're absolutely right. Not everybody has uh, social media as well.